we got matching sticks and we had to pick them up in 15 seconds and we always got the most purple. Green is probably camouflage really well so you won't be able to see green. Maybe they just found purple or maybe they like the colour purple so they pick it. <laughs> the picker-upper picks up the sticks and we count them. So just say there are five reds, eight blues and six greens. We'll put that on the sheet in our book. The aim of this unit, which we call Super Cycle Girl, is to choose an appropriate outfit for a cyclist, our model being Barbie. Experiments with matches show that some colours are more visible in certain environments than others. That we learn for clothes with the matchsticks that you should wear a fluoro colour. Being able to look and touch real sheep's brains and see how soft they are helps the girls learn the importance of protecting our own brains by wearing a helmet when riding a bike or a scooter. So we saw a sheep's brain and it was smooth, really slimy and squelchy, but it was very fragile. And we were pretending the water balloon was our brain and the cup was our skull. And we dropped it out of the cubby. We dropped it from there, but mine survived somehow, but the skull broke. The person had to still go to the doctor because the skull was cracked. Because if you don't have your brain, a signal down your neck can't go to the bottom of your feet. Our brains help us do everything like move and taste and hear and smell and push our chairs in. You shouldn't lean out of the cubby when you go out there and play. Well, we've learnt about air resistance, so how she could wear tight clothes. You have to wear a helmet. Well, science people never give up and they always try different things. Because we might do it one day and if we haven't learnt it, we won't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs>